Hi, this is Robbie with Techner Photography. I just received a package that I ordered a while ago. Um, I saw a lens on Sony Alpha Rumors about a month ago. It was a 5X magnification macro lens that was really cheap. I think it was $250 or something. So I figured, what the hell, I'll order this. I already have the one-to-one -one macro lens, 100 millimeters, and I really love it, but Sometimes you just want to get a little bit more ma magnification. So I saw this 20 millimeters f2.0 5x magnification. It's a very strange lens. I've never really seen anything quite like it. So I figured what the heck. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. It's by a company called ZY Optics and it shipped out of Hong Kong. So it took a little while. It took them probably close to a month from when they received my order to when they shipped it, and then I got here in a couple days. So that was pretty easy. Um, little instruction booklet. Oh, this is a strange looking lens. <laughs> the lens feels like it's made out of metal. It, it just showed up on my doorstep and it's really cold to the touch. So that's a good sign. Sony A-mount lens, and the front element is super tiny. Um, let's see here. Let's see how this goes on the A99 Mark II. Wow, there's a huge gap right there. I'm guessing that's basically the equivalent of an extension tube. How's that? Wait. That's okay. Wow, super tiny front element. That is interesting. How do you focus this? How do you... Okay, the, f the aperture is at the very front of this lens. It's a super tiny aperture. Um, it goes between f2 and f16. So at 5x magnification, even f16 is going to be uh, microscopic. And the focus ring goes from, it says 4x, and then when you spin it all the way around to 4.5x. So I'm not sure if that is a focus or a zoom. It actually moves the front part of the lens in and out. The focus is actually relatively smooth. Yeah, so it does adjust the focus. Ah. Because it's a completely manual lens, I'm gonna to have to go into the A99 and adjust the setting that allows it to fire without a lens. Since it can't detect it, it figures, or right now it thinks there is no lens on the camera. The setting is called release without lens. You have to make sure that is enabled. I'll attempt to go around the yard and find some things that uh, will be able to demonstrate the difference between the two. I'll try to take a picture with a 100 millimeter one-to-one -one macro lens, and then I'll try to take a picture with this lens, and we'll try to compare a couple things. If this is half as interesting as it seems, it could make for some really cool images. Okay, I just did a couple test shots, and this is with my Sony 100mm one-to-one macro lens of a spider some one of my friends sent me. So I was just photographing it, and this is 100% with a 100 millimeter macro lens. Uh, for some reason, this is a little bit fuzzy. I'll have to clean my lens or experiment. I haven't used it on the A99 yet, so there might be diffraction, I don't know. But this is a spider on a one-to-one -one macro lens, not zoomed in. And now let's go look at the ZY Optics 20 millimeter f2.0 lens. Boom, this is not zoomed in on the lens. That is amazing, uh, the magnification we're getting here. If we zoom in to 100%, you can see it's not super sharp, but given the shallow depth of field, I might just be slightly out of focus. I'm gonna have to experiment to figure out how to focus stack with this lens, just because we are so zoomed in. This was even shooting, I had the uh, lens stop down to f16, so it was wide out, no, it was at its uh, smallest aperture, so I should have had the maximum depth of field. We're still super shallow, which was to be expected. So I will have to do some experimentation with focus stacking. But 
This is incredible, the magnification level. I'm going to be able to do some really cool things with this lens. And for the price of what, $2.99, you, I haven't seen anything quite like it. In order to shoot this picture, you have to get really close to uh, the subject. I was probably like an inch away. Here's a, a shot of how close I actually was to it. Just to give you an idea, so if your subject is moving around or uh, vicious, you might want to be a little bit careful just because you're going to have to get so darn close. But still, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this lens. So go check out ZY Optics website. It seems pretty cool. Um, I'll see if I can put a link in the video description below. Otherwise, I hope you found this first look uh, somewhat useful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.